Welcome everyone. Today we are tackling a classic interview question. You are only given access to a function called randm. It returns a random number between 1 and m. Your goal? Use this to generate a random permutation of numbers from 1 to n. Sounds simple, right? Let's see what challenges we run into. Let's start with some intuition and simplify the problem to understand how randm behaves by choosing a representative case, n equals 10. In many cases, analyzing a concrete and manageable example helps build a deeper understanding. And once we solve the simpler version, we can often generalize the solution to the full problem. Let's say we ran randm three times. We got four, nine, then two. Let's start to build the array by filling in numbers as they come. First, we get three. We place it in the first slot. Next is eight. That goes into the second slot. Then we get five. We place it third. But now we start getting repeats. We get another three. We have already placed that. So we ignore it. Then 9. That's new, so we place it. Then 5. Again. Nope. Already used. Another 3. And again, a 9. We are starting to hit a wall. Eventually, we get a fresh number, like 4, and place it. But look what's happening. As we fill more position, it's getting harder and harder to find numbers we haven't seen yet. The probability of hitting a duplicate increases dramatically. Our approach might be okay for small arrays, but for large n, say 100 or 1000, it falls apart. Towards the end, it might take dozens of calls to run the m just to find one unused number. Yes, it will work, eventually but it's far from efficient. We want each number to be unique, no repeats. At first glance, it might seem that reducing the range by one each time solves the problem, but this doesn't guarantee that a number won't be selected again. Duplicates can still occur, so we need a different approach that ensures randomness without repetition. Note that we were never asked to generate the array from scratch. Instead, a smarter approach is to start with an existing ordered array and simply shuffle it. We begin with a full array containing all the numbers from one to n. Rather than generating a new number to insert at each step, we randomly select position within the unshuffled portion of the array. We then swap the selected element with the last unshuffled element and repeat this process gradually, shrinking the range by one. This method is known as the fisher yates shuffle, and it ensures an efficient and unbiased random permutation. Let's see how it works. We start at the last cell, index 10. We call run 10 and get 4. So we swap the value at position 10 with the one at position 4. Now, we move the pointer one cell back from index 10 to index 9. We call rand 9 and get 7. Again, we swap the value at index 9 with the one at index 7. And again, we move the pointer to index 8, call rand 8, say we get 2. We swap the value at indexes 8 and 2. You get the idea. We repeat this process down the array. We continue this process one step at a time until our pointer reaches index 2. At that point, the array is fully shuffled. The result? A perfect random permutation of the numbers from 1 to n, with no duplicates and no waste. This is the fisher yates shuffle, and its time complexity is O-N optimal for this task, efficient and elegant.
Let's see how to code this in C. First, we create an array called result and fill it with the numbers 1 to n. Because C arrays start at index 0, we use result i equals i plus 1 to store the value 1 at index 0 and so on up to n. Then we apply the Fisher Yates shuffle. We start from the end of the array and move backwards. At each step i, we generate a random number between 1 and i plus 1 using the run m i plus 1. Since arrays are zero based, we subtract 1 to get a valid index j in the range between 0 to i. Finally, we swap the value at position i and j. This guarantees that every possible permutation is equally likely. If you found the content interesting and valuable, make sure to like, subscribe, share it with a friend, and leave a comment. I would love to hear your thoughts.